Trump is indicted on seven different accounts for the classified documents that he tried to steal. This is awesome. Hopefully this will put him in jail. Hey, well, welcome back. We are covering breaking news surrounding former President Donald Trump. According to his lawyers, Trump has been indicted on seven counts, and they are dealing with that classified documents probe for the alleged mishandling of over 100 classified documents. The, the twice-impeached president is the first one in U.S. history to face federal criminal charges. Uh, joining us now is NBC's Vaughn Hilliard. Uh, we were just talking, uh, Vaughn, before the break there about, uh, you know, the, the historic nature of this, but also the claim that President or former President Donald Trump has made about current President Joe Biden and the documents that were found in his uh, his garage and, and the, the documents that have been found in other uh, politicians' uh, houses. Uh, can you paint the, the differences that we've seen in some of those cases? Right. Number one, only one individual involved had a subpoena issued to retrieve the documents. That was Donald Trump. There was no subpoena that was issued to Mike Pence. There was no subpoena that was issued to Joe Biden. The Pence investigation, that closed this week, according to our Laura Jarrett. As for the President Biden investigation, the special counsel continues to investigate the documents that he was in possession of. But this is the part where Donald Trump, this, we're, we're talking about last summer, June 3rd, you know, two years, a year and a half after he had left the White House in which it took FBI search warrant to go in and find those more than 100 classified documents here. And exactly what was in those documents is still not clear. I think it's important to understand the New York Manhattan district attorney's charges that he faced two months ago. Those were state charges. These are federal charges, all felonies that he is facing here, seven counts that we now know. He is the first major presidential candidate to be under criminal investigation in the heart of a presidential election here. And yeah, how is he going to run for president while also having to uh, be in court quite often, uh, not just for this, but for various other uh, investigations that he's facing? He's definitely not going to be able to become president. And there we're looking at more like probably next summer, next fall, into when this trial would actually begin. And if, in fact, he were to be found guilty, you're looking at potential prison terms. Of course, there's a lot that goes into play there. You're talking about uh, if he were to be elected, he could potentially pardon himself. There could be, uh, you know, a, a situation in which one there could be even uh, a legal back and forth over one particular charge that he could be potentially facing in which it suggests that somebody would have to forfeit their ability to run for federal office in the future. Now, there's some uh, discretion over exactly what the Constitution lays out uh, versus what Congress has written into statute. But these are serious charges that he is going to be facing, Gotti. In this, you know, when you talk to, you know, legal experts, they say if Donald Trump had just complied with the subpoena of the Department of Justice and turned over these relevant documents, that he would not be facing uh, these criminal charges here at this time. 